You ready for this, Abma? Oh, let's do this. Yeah, catching a hitching a ride with the dogs to the monster. Cool, R. They're taking us pretty calm soon. Abma and I, we were like, let's do something serious. Let's do the monster cool R. Pretty monstrous. Probably pretty steep in that show, okay? Yeah. You wanna look? Mm-hmm. Which is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's a monster of a cool R. Might be some jump turns. So to get to the monster is about 10 kilometers. So we decided to utilize the strength of the dog power. They're even more excited than I am. Uh, they have their names over the door. That's a good Jerry. <laughs> oh, he loves it. When was the last time you had a belly rub, buddy? I got you. Oh yeah, just lie down. There you go, relax. And it's super cool with the dogs, actually. They're just like so full of energy. He's like full of energy, huh? They really, really want to run. They want to pull these sleds. So we, you have two tutus. Yeah. And it's with the personality how we pair them. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's get you on there, Mike. Ready to roll. Okay, Mike. Emma's getting some instructions here. Before we go, yeah. the dog can do like really a clutch. Okay. <laughs> but the most important thing is it's not about going as fast as possible in the downhills. It's about keeping a constant speed. Okay. That sounds fun. Nikolai. I'm excited for this, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be express dog sled to the coolie. We're going. We're going. We're going. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. Come on, Jerry. Okay, let's just start trying to figure out how to turn this thing. The app man has all this experience from sledding snowmobiles. So of course he's in the back, in charge of the dog sled too. Wow, you definitely feel like you're in Norway when you're in this kind of region. Yeah, yeah right? Oh, wow, now we're rolling again. Back in stride. Yeah. Now we're flying. Wow. To see what the snow is doing, like this is had a lot of wind, it looks like. Yeah. Hopefully it's uh, not as bad as that. <laughs> <laughs> so deep. How did you find out about Monster Cooler? Finnish guys went up there. Okay. They're the guys in India. Okay. Uh, I haven't really heard about many people skiing it. The monster cooler is up to the left. Yeah. To the left, dogs. To the left. But it's crazy, like, before at the end of that choke, there was like a five, six meter rappel. Mm hmm. It was gone. Like, should we bring the rappel gear then? Like, if it is super steep or if it's icy for example i think i think if you have your crampons and an axe do you have your crampons mm -hmm. yeah then you're fine like for uh, walking down or skiing down like I'm, i don't wear crampons very often so. <laughs> abma isn't used to train like this he isn't used to like down climbing cliffs he's used to like airing cliffs and doing huge threes over them and landing in good landings but here we're in you know gnarly norwegian mountains with more rocks and cliffs than anything resembling snow so it's like i Definitely feel the pressure that it's on me to like find the good skiing and find the safe skiing. But yeah, normally you ski through the choke and then at the end of the choke, there's the rappel. Yeah, that one's solid. Good thing we did some wood chopping. Okay, it's, it seems like it holds, you know? <laughs> if it's super icy, then you can just down climb, I guess, with, uh, with the axe and your crampons. That's another thing I don't use is an ice axe. I was like, why does he have his ice axe? Like, what's going on over here? So I don't think it's that crazy, you know? But it depends on the conditions, of course. I've trusted you this far. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me today, I don't know. To take me through the choke. Yeah. What do you think? Do you want to hike or walk? I'm easy. Like, I guess we'll feel the snow when we ski it, you know, too. And maybe I think that's a more pleasant hike because then we'll have some sun on us, too. Oh, I like the sun. We decide that we don't want to climb up the cool R because it looks like we can do like an easy ski tour around it just to come up from the backside. We're going to walk in the sun. Walk in the sun, beautiful. Then we'll have a surprise crux. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to know what that choke's going to be like, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little tight there at the end, but... Yeah, I mean, how steep do you think it'll be right there? Well, it used to be vertical. It used to be a rappel, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, so it's like, got to be pretty how steep. How filled in is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be doing my best Scott Schmidt turns in there. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
we're gonna be like full on the steeps program oh he brought the bag i must uh he's like look at my pile of shit here <laughs> i must all like clean and organized you should get one i should yeah yeah they're quite light it looks like it is my first rodeo <laughs> well at least you have all the gear true that's there's, nice there's some gear it's always nice when you can leave the rope at the bottom though Ooh, that's feeling uh, very grippy. We might have a chance up there. You can see all these roller balls. Like there's all this evidence of like the heat that's been on the snow. Kind of getting a little bit concerned about what the snow quality will be like in there because this is, you know, it's a big, serious run. It seems like there's some kind of limit happening. You know there? Yes, totally. It's all good snow above that. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes way more sense. Well, that's perfect. Then it'll be good the whole coolie. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Hold together, Abma. Hold it, Abma. Come on, Come buddy. on, Abma. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll try to make, like, bigger steps. No, no, you're good, you're good. It's just... The mellow approach turned out to be not so mellow. This doesn't look sketchy at all. No. Totally grippy and nice ice. <laughs> we'll even get a little boost. <laughs> if we slide. Of course, we've got weird snow right above the ice fall. Yeah. Just to increase the heart rate a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to get excited like before yeah. we get into the cool hour. It's funny because if this ice wasn't here, yeah, I wouldn't think about it at all. No, I know. It's so weird with like exposure. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Woo. Woo. I feel like I'm gripping my ski poles very tightly right now. Oh yeah. Why am I so scared right now? Yeah. I feel like every time you edge, you're like, oh shit, is it holding? Is it holding? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you start to get a little bit confident, you shh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So close. That was the gnarliest section. That was definitely the scariest ski tour of my life. Yeah. Man, I was feeling that. When you skin <laughs> with your ice axe out, that's when you know it's serious. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we don't have to do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was the cruisy way. <laughs> My hands, my arms got so tired because I was gripping my poles so hard. Yeah, me too. And I was like really like trying to hold my edges. <sighs> oh man. Yeah, that was definitely the most uncomfortable ski touring of my life. <laughs> man, if the cool are like this at all. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. It was really cool because as we were getting higher up in elevation, the snow quality just kept getting better and better. So our spirits kept lifting and we had more and more confidence that the monster was in fact going to have good snow. Well, this has been super enjoyable, Nikolai. I really, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. It's yeah. been a good vibe. And also you're very patient with the Norwegian snow. I like <laughs> that. I guess if there's one thing skiing has taught me, it's patience. Yeah. So you camped out here last time? Uh, yeah, the time before that. We went here in like 2010, I think, me and my friends. Like way back. Nico, come on me. And now I I think my friend lost his skin or something. I forgot to fell it, so he's going to go. Or I'm going to fell it, so I'm going to fell it. So he had like one skin, <laughs> sort of like Alpine Trekker style. Yeah, yeah. You know? Then we hiked in the whole valley. We had a sense of stuff here. Holy shit wow. show. And we camped under it. So <laughs> and we climbed up, we couldn't get past the choke. No way. Yeah. And so what was these, your guys' plan? If Like, were you just gonna try to like climb up the rock there? Get all super- I, We were like not 19, stuff. just freaking <laughs> going for it. <laughs> we were like, see what it. happens. <laughs> monster, sail on that monster, but again, the only way to do it. So it's like a special feeling when you're stepping close to the edge. Uh, yeah, this is the moment where I'm excited, but I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> stepping into the unknown. Yeah. Where is Nikolai taking me now? <laughs> what has he tricked me into? Does he have a death wish? 
I'll, I'll, I'll buckle my helmet. Yeah, right. Don't want to lose it down there. I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> to the edge. So. Okay, she's steep for sure. Some wind has been in there. Yeah, that thing has seen some wind. At this point, that I'm glad we uh, came out the way that we did, actually. Yeah. Holy hell. It's fully icy. But it kind of looks like it could just be the top section that had the wind. It looks better lower down. Yeah. Wow, this thing's crazy. Crazy how it turns, huh? Yeah. I was not expecting it to have that much turn. I think the steepest section is actually like right after the turn and then you have the choke. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it looks okay down there. I think the, is it the ruffled snow? Yep. I find generally like that's often like a little softer. Yes. Yeah, no, it seems like we've got this one wind affected zone and then just beyond that, then we get into a nice smooth panel. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be skiing this fast Nikolai style, but uh. Oh, we take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Yeah, bro. Happy to be here. Oh, no doubt. It's a beautiful place, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. All right, now it begins. So where's, I'm assuming you're going to go first. No, you can go first if you want. No, you should definitely go first. You can have first tracks. You're the guest. I'm, to be honest, I'd rather you go first. Okay, yeah. Just so because, uh, well, you know where you're going with regards to where the choke is. And then once I start going, I'm going to be sending out some slough. Yeah. And I'm assuming you're just going to be like tucked up to the right or the left. Honestly, I think it depends. If it skis well, I'll just Let's go it. all the way down. Yeah. Okay. If it uh, doesn't ski well, I'll radio up. Yep. And I'll let you know if we're down climbing. Okay. And if we are down climbing, I'll find a safe spot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. monster, here we yep. are. Hope rather intense. <laughs> yeah, rather intense. I can see why they call it the monster. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely looks monstrous from up here. Check, check. Mark. Check, check. I got you. I got you Mark. You're like the Marky Mark of the ski world. <laughs> You're ripped. Been at it for a while. A lot of banger segments. There were so many amazing people on that movie. Yeah, that guy's kind of crushing it in life, eh? Yeah, he's... Holy cow. I love these movies. Yeah, me too. How's it looking? Epic! Epic! Uh, that's what we want to hear. Not dangerous, not scary, just <laughs> epic. All right, my man. You ready for it? I think so, as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll radio whatever happens. And okay. if, if you can't hear me for some reason, then you and us will see where I am. Yeah, sounds good. Dropping! All right, buddy. Have fun! That looks fun. Rippy. And the snow looked great, and I could hear him. <laughs> skiing with happiness. He was kind of like laughing and super stoked. And I know with the amount of turns I've made, there's probably some slough chasing me, but I see the crux and God, oh, this is a tasty little choke here. So eventually I heard from Jonas that he had made it to the bottom. How was the choke? And Jonas said, straight line past him. And then I thought I heard Jonas say, yeah, he, but he wiped out. What's up? He wiped out after the choke. So that kind of like threw like a seed of doubt into the back of my mind. All right, Mark, you're up. Abma in the monster. Dropping. So beautiful. You had massive walls on either side of you. Wow. This is beautiful. And it was just super skiable snow. It's like I was truly having the time of my life. Wow. At the same time, I was kind of monitoring my slough. As I was getting near to the choke, and I noticed that my slough was starting to pick up speed, and that choke was getting tighter and tighter. And I was like, this is when I'm going to slow her down. <laughs> yep. Wow. Nikolai, you're an animal, buddy. <laughs> wow, dude, you are crazy. And tap into my inner Glen Plake and uh, play the steep skiing game. And it was actually, it was so much fun just to kind of 
play with your slough. Do my best. Blend plague here. And just work some controlled turns. Oh, this is tight, bro. And really just like enjoy the space and the place that we were in. Yeah, half turning. The snow on the walls were incredible. It was super good snow and there was tons of slough moving. Snows. Very perfect for this though. Alright, back on the program here. Wow, oh, this is a long run. Hey, Bringer. Oh, it's really special. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Monster Slayer! Good work, oh, man! Oh. <laughs> Matt, you were on it! Boom, 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 boom! I uh, really embraced my inner Glen play I there. saw that, I saw that. I was like, oh, he's on the Steve's, he's in the Steve's. You embraced your inner Nikolai. <laughs> I came there, I was like, Let's just see. But it was freaking rowdy after. <laughs> I was Bro, like, I can't even imagine straight line you I came there. out and it was like, holy and cow. On these bindings. <laughs> wow. But uh, that was sick. Oh, that was so oh. fun, bro. That was so good. And the snow up top was like really good, actually. Oh, really good. Yeah. So Jonas said that you wiped out? No. No, you stayed in your feet. Yeah. Sick, bro. What's up? Why did you out after the snow? When I'm out in the big mountain and it's like, you're freaking tired, it's super scary, and you're like, why the hell am I doing this? I have to imagine myself on my couch later, hating myself for not having done it like I wanted to. What would Couch Nico do? That's so awesome. Thank you. Thank oh. you. One more here. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. Oh. oh, what a trip. Yeah, man. What I'm so day. happy we got to end it like this. Truly, that is such a cool run. Yeah. Well, that's good. All right, five, four, three, two, one, drop. Avma coming through.